Good day. This 50th day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. Crosswired, you know, when things go a little funky, there's a crosswired going on. And it came to me in a meaningful moment during this move. I find moving so fascinating. There's just so many pieces and elements of um, learning opportunities from moving. And this meaningful moment came about because I was, you know, in my systematic, organized way, getting to the last few days and, you know, trying to run through everything in the refrigerator, kind of, you know, eat the leftovers, um, use up what we have so that our, you know, transporting things over to the new place won't be as big of a project. And it was so interesting that last night, I was in the freezer and there were a couple of little ice cream cones that were um, left over and had been frozen, you know, they were just little kind of Christmassy peppermint flavored little cones from like Trader Joe's or something. <clears throat> and they had been a little treat back then and there was just a couple left. And I've been doing a lot of cleansing right now, but of course, you know, um, my brain said, hey, you can't let those go to waste. You should probably eat them kind of thing. And, you know, this is where, you know, I become aware that at that moment, you know, I, my brain was thinking one thing. My gut was thinking another. We have these three intelligence intelligences, as you know. You know, we have our gut, we have our heart, we have our brain. And sometimes there's a crosswire there that goes on. And it's really interesting because that balance that we do with our energy centers um, help us to be able to communicate clearly through those intelligences and really receive exactly what we need to know and be able to do for ourselves. But sometimes there's a crosswire because we don't actually listen to that. In this case, my brain, um, I thought about how tasty that little bit of chocolate would be right then and all that kind of stuff was overriding what my gut knows for sure. and. You know, I'm not about like telling people like follow this diet or do that or anything like that. You know, even with the work that we're doing with Pure Esperanza and well-being, this is really a customized, unique journey all of us are on. And we find this resonation, this piece that connects with one another because we're all on this journey and learning different things. But this cross wiring that happens, happens to all of us. Sometimes we know that something is not really in our best interest, whatever that might be, be it something that we're going to eat, something that we're going to do, <clears throat> something that we're thinking. And it's like, it's not controllable, quite controllable, or it's so it seems like at the time. Now I'm pretty aware of what is going on with my body and as I've um, gathered more years, I'm in tune with my body and listening to it. But still, I come up against these same kinds of things that all of us are doing and we have to step back. We hear it, we hear like, okay, that's probably not the thing to do and we go ahead and do it anyway. <clears throat> so I did that and then, um, you know, I woke up sometime in the middle of the night and my gut was absolutely telling me not a good deal. <laughs> you know, it wasn't a good deal. And I was like thinking, okay, here's one of those opportunities to learn, right? I, I knew it, I heard it somewhere in within myself my brain told me something else and thought yeah go ahead do it anyway um and rather than like be stuck on the part of like oh i did that and i followed that instead i really took it as an opportunity to understand what that cross-wired piece was for myself to understand that this was a learning opportunity to think oh yeah that is what happened right then isn't that interesting and then I set to communicating, talking, or actually allowing my heart to open and be the mediator for connecting my gut and my brain. And I could feel that process that was happening as I began to integrate more what the communication was from my gut to my brain so that it would allow me to have um, a strong intelligence that spoke to me from within my own self when I go to get food next time. That the connection with the food is more about how it will actually feel in my body. What I take in, how it's going to be working with my mind. Um, 
and to allow my brain to be receptive and listening to the intelligence here, down here, up to here, and you know how that connects here in my heart space to be that ever um, growing peace that loves myself enough to be able to hold these connections all together. Everything I'm integrating, everything that I'm learning, and to do so with a with an ease and a gentleness and a a sense of um, it's okay. I'm learning by doing these different things and making these different choices is how I learn. So there's a lot of pieces involved with that, all because of this cross-wired piece that happened to me. And you can look at your own life and probably have a lot of different um, experiences that were just like that, where there was a cross-wired piece. But once we start to make those connections and we start to rewire the ways that we're communicating with our intelligences, from our brain and thoughts, to our heart and our feelings, to our gut and the physical part of our body, then we begin to bring everything in together for that polar connection of who we are. And that's when we can really shine from within our own selves because now we're going inwardly and retrieving our inner wisdom. So for wherever you are today in your journey and your experience and if there's any crosswiredness in you i would encourage you to be forgiving of yourself be loving of yourself be caring for yourself and keep those connections strong lessons behind.